Hi, we're on the Celebrity Equinox. We're on a Western Caribbean cruise. Today we are stopping in Cozumel, Mexico. Super excited, we've never been there before. We're going to the Chacanab Eco Park, which has snorkeling, otter shows, all kinds of stuff. So we're very excited about that. Hi, I'm Carmen. This is Brian, and if you're new to our channel and you enjoy travel videos and travel tips, be sure to click subscribe and the bell so you won't miss anything. First, let's start with a little breakfast at the Ocean View Cafe, which is their Best buffet. Way to start off your day. Awesome way to start the day. Here's the Ocean View Cafe. All right, early morning. Let's get some breakfast. Here's my breakfast. Brian's gone to get his. We have a very heavy bag today, so we're gonna tag team sitting with the bag. We got mushrooms, gluten-free toast, fresh carved ham, and a veggie omelet with some bacon also. Looks so good. They do have made to order omelets. And here's Brian's food. Looks like potatoes, beans, mushrooms, cheese, eggs, uh, tomato, and a hash brown. Yum. We are headed down on the elevator to the gangway to get off the ship in Cozumel. How exciting. Can't wait. And here we are, getting off at Cozumel. There we go, we're on soil. What a beautiful morning here in Cozumel at the port. Gorgeous. Oh, funny, they have a Bubba Gump shrimp and a Margaritaville. I don't know why I find that funny, but I do. And here's our awesome ship. Here's another cruise ship docked next to us, the Ada Diva. Pretty. Today we are headed to Chacanab, which is sort of an eco park. We're gonna do snorkeling and explore, check it out. We're doing this on our own. We're not doing a ship uh, sponsored excursion. We're just gonna grab a taxi, head there and spend a few hours and have a good time. We are in search of taxis. Here's what the port looks like. It's funny seeing it this dead. So our port time this morning was seven and it's already after 7.30. Uh, but Chuckanob doesn't open until 8, so we didn't want to get off too early uh, since we can't even get into the park before 8. And right on time, I think it's eight right now, so perfect timing. If you're curious about the cab ride, it is $12 for both of us um, total, one way, plus tip of course. Um, it's really close, that was like maybe five minutes max, and that was with some traffic, so it's very, very close to the port. Here's the ticket booth with the prices. So we are just doing the $23 admission, general admission, which it actually includes quite a bit of stuff. Um, they have Wi-Fi and they also have um, different animal shows and also some cultural exhibits. Pretty neat looking. This place looks huge too. They gave us a map. I'll show it to you. It looks gigantic. Pretty neat. Here's their zip line tower. One of our biggest tips if you're doing your own thing and not doing a paid excursion is to get to wherever you're going as early as possible because then you get to yourself for a while, which is what we have right now. Ooh, it looks like we got tequila as well. <laughs> just came across a big map, so that's easier for me to show you than the tiny map that we got. You can just see how much stuff there is to do. So many things, there's animal shows, snorkeling, swimming, all kinds of things, a couple of restaurants. Wow, talk about having the beach all to yourself. Look at this. Nobody here. Sure. This is a little ripped off lagoon area. So if you have children or if you just don't want to be out in the main water, this would be a great place to go. A more secure area. And I did see that people recommend water shoes and I can see why. I see rocks all in the water here. So definitely bring your water shoes. If you're not familiar with water shoes, Brian's already sporting his. I've actually got sandals on right now. Soles. So they have soles and you can swim in them and they dry fairly quickly. 
They do have locker rentals here. They are an additional fee in addition to what you've already paid to get in. They're one of the few things that aren't included, but it's nice that they have them. So if you don't have someone with you to watch your stuff, you can lock everything away. We talked about using one, but we decided we're just gonna take turns swimming and kind of keep our stuff with us. I've read online that they're $5, but definitely check the pricing because I don't see any signs here. Also, all these chairs you see here are included, which is super nice because a lot of places you go, you have to actually pay even more for chairs. And here, everything's included as far as seats. We are gonna set up camp right here in our nice little shady cabana. How cool is this? Ah, uh, beautiful. Love getting to snorkeling locations before there's a bunch of other people. As you can see, they have multiple staircases throughout the beach to get down into the water to snorkel. As you can see, getting into the water can be a little tricky. There is a lot of algae growing on the steps once you get under the water level. So you definitely want to use the rails they provide. This was magical. As soon as you get in the water, there were tons and tons of fish. And so this worked out great for Brian who doesn't snorkel. He could just look down in the water and take pictures of fish and enjoy the fish because as soon as you step off those steps, it's pretty deep and there were plenty of fish. I love this colorful red and black and white one. So I headed further out as well, but first there was this cave. I guess you could call it a cave. I don't know what that was down in there. I'm a tad claustrophobic, so the thought of swimming down under like that would, was not something I was wanting to do. But it does come out, um, like you can swim down there and come out another side uh, right there at that edge. Uh, so that's kind of neat if you are someone who would want to do something like that. Definitely not my cup of tea though. Here I am panning around uh, just to show what it looks like from the water looking back towards the beach. And also there were these platforms that were floating once you got pretty far out. I think they were probably so you could rust because the current here is so strong. I can't emphasize that enough. If you are not a strong swimmer, this might not be the best place. Um, I definitely would not put children in this water without a life vest. Um, there's that uh, tunnel again, or cave, or whatever you want to call it. Um, but they did have rest platforms. I didn't use them. Um, I'm a fairly strong swimmer, and I did take a couple of rest breaks on the shore as well, because like I said, this was intense. Uh, the current was intense, I should say. The variety of fish was amazing though. I saw so many different types of fish. Again, this is right up near where you get out of the water. Plenty of fish to see. This was really interesting. They had several statues they had sunk intentionally under the water. This was Mary. Um, there's also a statue of Jesus, which I do not have footage of, but there are also some sort of Mayan ruin statues as well. Again, so many fish, and a lot of the fish were quite friendly. They weren't terribly shy. Here's the obligatory selfie while snorkeling. The water throughout this area is pretty deep, um, as you can see. And so if you had fins, I did not have fins. I brought my own equipment and did not bring fins. But if you had fins, you definitely could do some diving and check things out closer. But the further I got up, we started at the first place that we got to to get into the water. But the further down those various staircases I swam, the more fish I saw. So it seemed like the fish were more plentiful. Now this was fascinating. I don't know if you can tell, but those are just hundreds of fish clustered together and almost motionless. Um, that cluster right in the center of the screen. I had never seen anything like this snorkeling before. It's really interesting. It's like an entire school, but they're, they're fairly stationary, which is really neat. This is another one of the intentionally sunken things under the water. Lots of fish here. And this is actually, again, really deep. So that's how high up the coral is growing um, almost to the surface, which is really, really cool. Really, really enjoyed snorkeling here. It was 
physically strenuous, but it was a lot of fun. Now this was the highlight right here. Um, at first when I saw it, I couldn't even tell what it was, but it's a huge stingray. And I don't know if you can tell in the distance, there's other people's legs dangling down over there, but uh, the stingray did not seem particularly shy about the people. And it was so wonderful to see one in the wild like that. I've seen them in aquariums, but not in the wild. These again are more of the intentionally sunken statues. And then again, getting out was a little dicey. It's the, the waves are really moving. I know it's hard to tell, but it's really sloshing you around and there's a lot of slick algae on these steps. Poor Brian's probably wondering what happened to me. It took me forever to do that because I was fighting the current the entire time. And I consider myself a pretty strong swimmer. Of course, I was holding the GoPro, so I was mainly swimming with just my legs, but still. There's Brian out there enjoying the swimming. It's definitely a unique place. It's unlike anywhere I have snorkeled before. You've got a little guide to help you figure out what kind of fish you're looking at. Very cool. I definitely saw quite a few of these. I don't know if it'll show up and I can't zoom in on this camera, but it's so funny. Brian just noticed there's a submarine tour and he's like, that has to be expensive. And then he just realized this other boat's just towing it, which we think is pretty funny. But I mean, it would be cool because you could see all the underwater stuff, I'm sure. We really looked out on a picture perfect day. It is beautiful weather. I was afraid it'd be cold when I got out of the water, but I'm not. It's just perfect. It's not hot, it's not cold, it just feels amazing. Beautiful. Look at this little crab, he is so adorable and he's right here on the stairs that lead down into the water. How oh, cool. Pretty cool, here's a little pink shelled, I guess, snail or crab? Oh, look at all these sea urchins, how cool is that? Brian's getting some close-ups of the sea urchins here. Snorkeling here is incredible. Um, it's definitely a different kind of snorkeling than what I've done before. The water's rough. You need to be a strong swimmer. The current's really strong. Uh, you get definitely a great workout, um, but it's amazing the things that you see. The sunken statues are cool, um, but for me it's the wildlife and seeing that giant stingray in the wild was incredible. Um, that's a first for me. I've seen them, of course, at aquariums, but never in the wild. And it's just something about seeing something free the way they're supposed to be. It's like a special treat and all the fish were incredible as well. It's just a great, great experience. They do have rentals of pretty much anything you can imagine. Um, life jackets, I know they have snorkel equipment, other water equipment I saw, boogie boards, body boards, pretty much everything. And they have a bar right on the beach. Here's the bar that they have on the beach and it looks like it is fully stocked. And they've got couples massage. That looks relaxing. Natural spa. There's the free sea lion show. They have a show about to start. got a lovely pool here. It's surprisingly empty and it also has a swim up bar which is handy. Hey Brian, you can get a yard. <laughs> Here's another view of that protected lagoon I showed earlier now that there's actually some people using it. If you had children, I would definitely bring them here because the water where I was snorkeling is rough. It's a strong current. Oh, look at the iguana. Hello. We have this enclosed lagoon here with a lot of the zip lines running over it. Pretty neat. We're gonna go check out the garden and the crocodile exhibit. Another view of the Chuckanob Lagoon and there's that Cozumel sign from the other side. Nice. We found the crocodile exhibition. Let's check that out. Oh, this guy is on the move. 
Oh, he just adjusted slightly and then stopped again. <laughs> so it's pretty neat. They have replicas of a lot of different archaeological sites and artifacts here. This one's really incredible. Wow. Check this guy out. He almost blends in with the rocks and the statue. You part of the exhibit? This one's a really, really cool replica. Wow. Got a replica of a Mayan village. Pretty neat. Here's a nice restaurant. It's a Dolphin View restaurant and bar. It looks like it is sort of self serve buffet style. Nice. Got a coffee shop. Oh, that's a pretty statue with the dolphins. Ah, oh, Cozumel. Beautiful sign. Love this dolphin statue. Beautiful. I think we've about seen and done it all except for the extra charge items. Definitely recommend this as a stop if you're in Cozumel. It was a lot of fun and it's a great place to snorkel as you can see. We're going to head back to the ship now. First, we're going to stop at the port and do a little shopping. This writing is pretty small but I wanted to share with you the taxi prices and they are documented which I really like so it gives you a good idea and it's based from one to four five or six to eight passengers so that's the three tiers of pricing and pricing varies depending on where you're going like we said Chuck and Ob was $12 for two people one way so 24 for round trip look at this view of our ship with the Cozumel sign it looks awesome and wow, senior frogs is hopping. There's Bubba Gump shrimp <laughs> right next to the restaurant. <laughs> oh, look at our ship, ready to get back on and have some lunch. Here we are, back to the ship. And here's a pan over of Cozumel. Had a great time there today. It's also really nice. Every time you come back to port, they have these ice cold towels and also fruit water and regular water. Really nice. Of course, we have to place our next magnet in the collection. There's our Cozumel magnet. Here we are at the buffet. Hi, good afternoon. We have showered and gotten all freshened up, but while the buffet is packed, there are a ton of people in here. Here's my lunch. I got steak, chicken, slaw, green beans, potato. These are all gluten-free. And I got some guacamole. They have fresh guacamole today. And here's Brian's plate. Looks like some good curry, potatoes, fish. Yum. Today's theme is Mexican. We have stopped at our favorite place, which we think is one of the best kept secrets for some reason. The Ocean View Bar to grab a drink. What surprises us that this bar never is that busy is you get this gorgeous view. I got a Don Julio on the rocks and Brian got a Rebel IPA. And we are enjoying this view. Beautiful. One last look at Cozumel before Sail Away. We're gonna go to our room, to our balcony, to watch Sail Away. Beautiful, and we had such an amazing time here today. So here are the other cruise ships. You see the Carnival Victory and the Ada. I'm not sure which one, what was that called? Ada Vita, I think? Anyway, the one there's one behind the Carnival Victory. It's another Carnival ship, but you can't see it from this angle. 
So we are about to sail away momentarily. We're on our balcony right now, about to go out to urban sea. For this voyage, we will be sailing along. We are going right here. Just in case you couldn't hear that, that was our captain giving an announcement. There's actually one person who's not back on the ship and they said they're gonna wait for them. I don't know how long they're gonna wait for them, but I didn't think they would do that. I thought they just dropped and went as soon as the time hit. So it's kind of interesting. Unfortunately, we are not on the dock side. We're on the ocean side, so we won't get to see anyone run down the dock. Can't feel it, but we are moving. It's nice to see that the ocean has calmed down considerably. Last night, not to complain on vacation, it's been a wonderful vacation, but I didn't sleep much because it was a rough night on the ship. There's the dock we just left right over there. Beautiful. We're gonna head down to Craft Social. I know Brian's gonna get a La Fin de Monde, and I think I will get a Moscow Mule. I've been really enjoying those. Wow, look at that. We got our Moscow Mule and La Fin de Monde. Cheers. The martini bar is definitely busy tonight. Wow. Thank you. Cheers. Wow, oh, that is so good. I do love this frozen bar here. It's so cool. It's definitely something unique. Ooh, a La Fin de Man just appeared. We are headed into the Silhouette dining room, which is the main dining room for dinner. We are in the main dining room. I got my gluten-free bread. Of course, we have the custom butters. We have sun-dried tomato butter and chickpea and eggplant. And then Brian got his gluten basket. Wow. Looks good. All right, our appetizers are here. I got the duck relay. And Brian got the shrimp cocktail. You want to have a shrimp? I got the beef short ribs, which I had on the last cruise, and they were incredible. So I'm looking forward to those. And Brian got the Caesar salad. He said he's eating light tonight. We're headed to the Equinox Theater to see life. First you both go out the way the vibe is feeling strong but small Turn to a friendship but friendship turn to a bun You never feel happy I take a prize You never feel happy If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and hit subscribe so you won't miss anything new. Thanks so much for watching. Until our next adventure.